Hello everyone, welcome back. So I decided I wanted to build my own Starbone ship using mods. This is my second mod build. And this time I'm using different mods and I'll show you, I'll tell you guys all the mods that I'm using for this build later on when we do the actual build process. But for now, I just wanna show you guys the final product of this ship. So we're gonna do a quick just overview of the outside and this is what came out i i really like how it looks it looks really fancy and i know that this dome at the back i know that this one is probably subjective i know that a lot of you might not like it and i can see why you know it looks kind of weird right having that dome at the back but i just wanted this part in here mostly because of the interior and i'm gonna show you later on we'll do an interior tour but you know it is of course removable and instead you can replace it with other parts maybe at the end of the video when i do the tutorial i show you guys an alternative version without the dome just by covering the entire surface with structure or other hubs but i decide to keep the dome mostly because i really like how the interior turned out another thing about this build i use two type of turrets and one regular weapon and the only reason why i use turrets so these ones these three are turrets and the two here are also turrets is because of how they look i really like the way they look and they look really really aggressive versus the vanilla weapons which are probably most of them smaller than these ones i personally uh for gameplay wise i don't like turrets that much but for looks i ended up using turrets on this build all right let's go inside i show you guys the interior tour of this ship now i have to be honest the interior decoration with this ship has been the most problematic of all the ones that i had mostly is because things kept disappearing all right after we come in this is the outpost we have this hub which i love i think it's fantastic because everything is glass everything's transparent so you can see through the floor through the sides now on the sides all of this you have to put a window here if you do not put a window it will be filled with uh kind of what you kind of look like here all that gray so it gets filled up it doesn't look as nice but once you put a porthole it looks pretty nice you can see outside and i have that shield booster with the lights everything it looks pretty nice actually from the inside and we have our first stairs so this will lead to a second floor this is a one by one two floor that we use from Deratech. and back here is just one single half this is just a standard two by one only one berth from Stroud and that's it for the first floor so we can go to a second one and as we come up we have basically two wings and a center so here is one wing that I kind of made this into a launch area just for sitting area and the windows you can see outside you can see the other side and that is kind of the one thing that I love most about these hubs that we're using Mostly this is here just so I can have a door that kind of leads to somewhere else. And then this is just a standard two by two living quarters from Stroud. Nothing special here, just a bunch of potholes and, uh, you know, even a lot of potholes on the ground. Just because, you know, I like potholes. So I like windows in my ship. So let's see. After this, we go out and we can go across. So what I did across is the same, but I turned this area into kind of a reception that leads into the other side, the two by two control station. So I thought, you know, it kind of makes sense to have something like that in here. And on the other side, this is a two, no, this is a one by one companion way that I just turned into kind of like a server room, I guess. For some reason, uh, this setup is exactly the same as, you know, on the other side. But for some reason, the game did not generate a door here that leads to the 2x2. Two two. I don't know why. One of the frustrations that I have with these hubs or the corner ones is that when I put something in the corner, like here, where the plant is, if I make a change to a ship, even if I modify a structure, it would just disappear a lot of things that are against the window somehow just disappear i used to have a couch here i'll show you where let's go to 
Okay, so there's that and there's this one. Okay, this leads to the cockpit. And another reception, I thought it would make sense, leading to the cockpit and sitting area. So where the chairs are here, as well as the potted plant, all these things. If I make a change to a ship, even if it's structure, a part that is not related to this hub, they disappear somehow. A lot of things just kept disappearing. Same thing with this plant right here. This would disappear as well. Those are kind of some of the things that I encounter with this ship. And okay, so this is kind of like the neck. So there are two doors and I just kind of put a bunch of stations in here and it leads to the cockpit. So this is kind of, I was a little bit disappointed because I really wanted the um, the cockpit, the big one from the from the Starborn ship. And it looks like currently there are no mods for it. Nobody has made one where it's exactly like the default Starborn ship. So this is kind of as close as it gets. And this is from this mod and it's just smaller. It's basically from the outside, it looks exactly the same, but I think it's a quarter of the size of the standard one. So you only have the cockpit, uh, two more stations for your companions, but you do get this kind of big ass panoramic window uh, view of the outside. So, so it's good. So it kind of as good as it gets for now until someone decides to make the cockpit just like the regular Starborn, but minus, you know, the rest of the body. So that's that. And we have two entrances and we can go now to the Back. I think those are the wings. There's, there's another stair that goes to the top. We're gonna go soon. And here on this floor, I just have a, this is a two by three straw mess hall. I didn't do anything. I just left it here. I added some windows, some portholes around, and I just added this carpet. Uh, by the way, when it comes to the interior decoration, I am using this mod called Scully's Emporium All-in-One Part One which gives you a lot of things that you don't have that normally you have to loot to kind of get. So this kind of makes everything much easier. So everything that you've been seeing, all the furnitures, all these, uh, the counter, all of that is coming from that mod in case you're wondering. And okay, so going up, this is, I think this is the third floor. And the third floor, let's go back here. So I don't have anything, this is just, one hub, a two by one, and it's completely empty. I haven't thought about what to do yet. We will go to the top. This is where it leads to the dome. So we will see that soon. And what I have here on this side is another one by one, just like when we enter from the landing bay. So this is exactly the same, but I have one just here, just kind of just for looks. And I have some aquariums. Again, this is all from the same mod and a porthole that looks kind of, that gives you a look into one of the weapons. So on one wing here, I turned this into kind of a work station. And let's see, so I have all the workbenches and a couple of decoration things, you know, that's to decorate. I don't know if you can notice, but you see like, for example, that workbench and this workbench, they're a little bit elevated. They are not exactly hitting the, the ground. So that is another issue that I've encountered with these hubs in this mod. And sometimes when you use it, it will say that this object now is obstructed. So like, for example, this workbench is that you cannot use it. It is obstructed. Clearly it is not. Uh, I think this one, same thing, this one. And again, so you have a lot of kind of those type of annoyances with the hubs. And I don't know how to kind of fix it. I think they are all showing that right except for maybe this one no this one same so keep that in mind just a warning and so this is the first half quarter glass thing one reason why i did not decorate this one is because i did and everything got erased so originally i had all these things that you have here the war benches everything here this was supposed to be my workshop place and uh, which is one of the reasons why this video took so long because I had to do it twice and it still got erased so I just didn't want to do it again. But the view is fantastic. I do really like how you can see the outside, 
of your ship, you know, and you can see everything around. I feel like, you know, that's how a spaceship should be. When you're in space, you know, you kind of have to have plenty of windows and, and be able to look out. This is another reason that I use that weapon. It's just for the looks, just so I could see that when I'm inside the ship. It's the only reason I use that weapon. And that's there. And again, we can see again the shield booster below. So there's that. Okay, so if we go to the other side, the other wing is basically the same. I turn this into a kitchen instead, kind of with a breakfast table type of thing. The idea was to turn this side outside into a conference room or like I put a few chairs and tables as well outside. But because of the whole glitchy thing and things getting erased, uh, I decided not to do anything. So just uh, just a warning if you are deciding to to kind of decorate this. So let's see. All right. So now finally we're going to the dome. And here is okay. So I turned this into kind of like a dining hall, and that's this is why I wanted to use this specific part because of this. I wanted to kind of have this 360 uh, restaurant type of thing. Like I know that in Vegas, there is a restaurant where it's the, you have a 360 view around. So I just, I just really wanted to do this. That's why, that's why the dome is here. Uh, even though the outside exterior design uh, is not as nice, but, uh, but yeah. So I have some beer tap, you know, uh, some, some more beers here. I put a bunch of aquariums and there is this uh, station here for, I don't know, coffee, whatever, other stuff. And a bunch of tables and uh, taller tables with stools and things like that. So yeah, and the view, this is in front, that's where the carpet is. And you can see the shield booster. So kind of, yeah, this is one of the things that I really love about this mod. And I just wanted to use it for this interior decoration. So now, we go to the dome area and I couldn't really put anything here. Otherwise walking gets really difficult. So other than this, the two um, pedestals and you know, these kind of trophies type of things I put in here. Um, I do feel like the dome is slightly too tall, but, uh, but it's fine. It's fine. And uh, yeah, you can see your ship. So all around, you can see your weapons, everything. And yeah, it just felt like a really good to have. So, all right, now before we begin with the build process, just like I was saying before during the interior tour is if you make any changes to the ship and your interior decoration from these three halves, you know, all the glasses ones, the round one and these quarter ones, they just simply completely disappear. Even though you change something that is completely unrelated to that. Okay, and another very important note about this bill is the cost. So I'm gonna put a screenshot here. It cost me almost 5 million credits to build this. I know, I, I ran out of credits. I did not expect that it would take that much. Halfway through, I had to get more credits and I ended up just using the console command to give myself, I think like 10 million or something like that to continue the build, which I'm gonna show you now in the screen, which is player dot add item space F space the amount that you want to give yourself press enter uh, as you can see and then you get the credit now give yourself any amount that you like uh, however I heard that if you give yourself more than a hundred million in credits it may cause some issues with vendors when you try to sell stuff and things like that don't give yourself that much money just give yourself enough the most of the cost came from weapons and okay, with that being said, I'm gonna show you now the mods that I'm using. And after that, I'll give you guys a step-by-step -step of all the parts, how to put it together. The first mod that I'm using is called Ship Building Twigs. It's a very simple mod. All it does is remove the limit when it comes to the ship size, as well as the amount of parts. The main mod that we're using most of the parts from is the Madelija Aerospace version three. I am also using some parts from Deretech from this mod here as well. Like for example, the stairs I'm using from Deretech instead of Matilija. 
And I have another mod that I'm using. It is this one called Tiger Shipyards Overhaul. So those are all the mods when it comes to the shipbuilding that I am using. There is also, of course, the one that I'm using for the interior decoration. So this is optional. This is the Scalis Emporium all-in-one part one. This one will make your interior decoration much, much easier and faster. All right, I have the ship now split into different parts. I am also going to put on screen a list of some of the specialty parts that you have to go grab a specific shipyards. Not a lot, just a few. Most of the parts are coming from the mod. And once you grab some of those parts, come back, go to your own landing bay at your outpost and do the building there. Or if you want, you can also download this mod, I think it's called All Ship Parts Unlocked, that basically unlocks all the ship parts so that no matter where you are, you have all the parts over there available to you at your landing pad. And we're going to start focusing on this area first, like at the middle part here. And we're going to get all the hubs all in place and then everything else we're going to add on top of that and it should be pretty easy so by starting from the front obviously the main event and when you go to all the cockpits the first one that's the one that we want the one that looks like the starboard cockpit and after that what i have is this neck and uh, this one is from deratech so when you go to the hubs go to deratech and you're gonna find the y seam 4 so you're gonna grab that and you put it at the back and uh, then we're going to use these ones, the triangle ones, these are from Matilicia. They are also hubs. So in the same hub menu, you're going to go and find. It has some various ones and you can flip it. So we're getting, you know, different ones, three of them. You're going to put it all around this hub. This is the Deritech stairs one by one by two. So if I move it, then you're going to see it's the it has two levels and make sure that the second level is hitting here and this is a hub so of course in the same menu go to hubs go to deretech and you will see it right there is the one by one by two port behind that is just a regular two by one from Strau and make sure that it is linked to the first floor in this situation not to the top but to the first floor and after you have that, uh, let's not worry about that. I'm just going to let's do this part first. So after that, you're going to connect one of the landing gears. And this is from Matilija Aerospace. Once you go to your gears, you're going to have the Matilija Aerospace 330 CB landing gear. And you can use, you know, it's just the same one look, but you can have different variants that allows you to connect things on the side. So I am using this one uh, to connect other ones in the side. I'm actually using the same for all of them. So it is actually just five gears. So there is this one, two next to each other. So all three in a row. This one here is the Matilija Aerospace, the Docker. So on the Docker menu, you're gonna find the Matilija one. Or if you don't want to use, use this one, you can also use the demos one. They, they're all the same, they just look different. And then another two more landing gears here. These ones that are in the corners, those are actually structures. They are not landing gears. So these are structure items. And when you go to your structure area, so here it is uh, right at the top, Matilija Aerospace 4K, but you can, I think, uh, flip it and then it becomes out. So, and you have two. So one on this side and the other one on the other side and same thing on the other side. Now what goes on top of here, uh, by the way, I have also a cargo hole here. This is just a Matilija Aerospace shielded cargo hole. It's really just for looks. I just stack it up there behind to kind of put the shield on top of it. And what goes on top is this hub. This is the two by three hub. Of, of course, you can use a two by three or if you want to use uh, three individual two by ones, that's OK, too. And uh, this goes on top of here, right on top of the landing gears, not on top of the structural ones that goes in there. And I have portholes here and one at the back and in front, right smacked in the middle, you're going to add this. This is the hub tech has spine. 
So you're going to find this under HAPS and you can put it right in front of it. We're going to leave this space blank here later. We're going to come back to that. So now what we can do is go to the bottom. So at the bottom here, this is the stairs, right? This is the same one that you see here. So this is that. In front of that, we are going to add this one by one Matelija cross passage hub. So we're going to just add this here. This is a hub. So you're going to find it also under the hub menu. Matelija aerospace cross hub, this one. This is the transparent one. There is another one that is non-transparent, that one at the top. So I ended up using the transparent one. That goes in front of the stairs. Right there, I put potholes on each side and in front of that is where the landing bay goes. And I am also using a Matelija landing bay. So when you go to landing bays, you're going to just find that one there. So on the base, there is the Matelija landing bay. And you have a couple of diff different ones. It has two different ones. I uh, ended up using this one is the uh, 500 one. So while we're here, let's talk about this for structure part. So we might as well just add it now since we're already here. And so these are the Matelija Aerospace Call Port. Okay, so it is here is the third one, Matelija Aerospace Calling. And they're just different variants. So you have this one, the middle one, the one at the front. So those are the ones, the force that you're looking for. And you're going to just stack it right next to this one goes right next to the landing bay. And this one will attach to the second one here. So same thing on the other side, but flipped. And behind that, I have two shell boosters. So the shell boosters, you're going to find them under there's going to be a new category that is equipment. And you're going to find the shell booster right there. And it can start behind this calling here. Um, behind that, I have two landing gears. These are the whole five landing gears. So with that, we are actually complete with the center. This whole center thing is actually now done. We now just need to move to the wings, each of the wings. And it's very simple. So I have here a one by one. So this one kind of because you're going to have two entrances, right? So you're going to get one, a one by one, that links to that and a two by two that links to this behind it. And in front, all these, these are all structural parts. So these are the uh, aerospace angelic scaffolding. Uh, so a couple of those and it is under structure. So here you're going to have this one, the material aerospace scaffolding. You have different variants. I went with this one. I think is the third one, the third variant. And then there's the middle part. So you just grab those and then you can also, of course, flip them to the other side and just make this shape here where we're going to mount the weapons. And we're also going to put this thing. This is just a Matelija Violet Spotlight. So you will find this one under equipment, the same equipment menu where you found the shield booster. So you're also going to find this lights so the spotlights basically so you have different colors there's red uh, there's amber there's blue there's violet and there's green so you can choose whichever you you like there's the fore and there's the aft facing back or facing front so i put one here and you have to mount them on top of an equipment plate which is under structure same thing with weapons you know they will not mount directly into the structure you have to put an equipment plate on it and there you have it. So uh, the weapons that I'm using, these are the Class C Matelija Aerospace Direct Fire Destroyers. And I think they're, I believe they're like a 300 or something thousand each. So you have those weapons there. Another shell booster smacked in between here. Uh, really honestly, just for looks, uh, nothing else. And this is another weapon. This is the Aerospace MIPAC 30. Uh, also another expensive weapon, also in the 300,000 credits. So that is there as well. And I have a couple of portholes. So anywhere that I could, I put a porthole. So there's one there as well. And below here, all you have is basically the landing gear below the two uh, structure parts here. And that is 
that is pretty much it for this part and the other side is symmetric so it's absolutely the wing is absolutely the same as this one and i put um a shielded cargo hull here 2935 this is from tiger so under the you know all the cargo holds you will find this one if you want to use this one you can of course always just use the vanilla one as well and we're pretty much all complete with this area i don't think we i don't think i missed anything right i mean we put pole holes there uh we have all the structures i put a bunch of pole holes you know below on the floor so there's that as well yeah, that is pretty much it. That is all we have. So here on top of the structure here, I put these Tiger Helium tanks. So 350 each. So there's this one here and there's another one here. So under, under the fuel tanks, you should find the Tiger one. So let's do this part here that we left empty. So what goes on here is the other stairs. So basically, the first stairs kind of leads from the bay to the second floor. And now this one that's going to be here will lead from the second floor to the fourth floor. So I have, it's exactly the same part. It is the one by one by two port. And I put a bunch of port holes on the sides. So you can highlight the whole thing. And this goes in here. So you're going to see now right, one, two, 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 three. So once you have this here, we can now put this one. So we have another Hope Tech Hub spine, the same as this one. Uh, it actually goes here, by the way. It does not go in front. We're going to leave this space here. The reason why I am using a Matelija Hub here instead of a regular one is because if I put a regular one, the game insists on putting a ladder here. So all the Matelija Hubs do not allow for ladders because everything is, there is no access. So that's why the Matilija hub right here and it overhangs at the back. So then portholes on the sides and that is it. And then this fin, this is a structural one. This is from Matilija and this is the fin. This is the large one that goes in there. It is a structure. So when you go to the structure part, almost at the bottom, I think is where you find the fin. Yeah, so there's the smaller fin and there's the larger fin. So I am using the larger thing for here. Uh, let's now work on what goes on next to this. So we have here the grab drive. So, and here, this is the reactor. When you go to the menu, you are looking for the Deretech grab drive. So this is the one. There are my Delicia ones, but I am using Deretech for the reactors and the graph drive. So two of those, and this goes in here. And this is another structure. This is the Matelija Aerospace for top nose. So under structure, so right here, Matelija Aerospace for top nose. So you have the one that's on the front, the middle, and the back. So I only use the front and the back, uh, put it together, these two. There is one that goes below it. Uh, so you flip it and it goes below it. And this, it actually overhangs. So it goes like this. It overhangs and there is another one at the bottom, kind of like you see here on the other side. So on the other side, we do the same thing but instead of the grad drive is the reactor and oh and another shield cargo that goes in front of the grab drive so there's another cargo hole there and with this we do the same thing so this goes in here the cargo goes in front and we're gonna go grab this all three piece all together so top front back and below so we're going to grab this whole thing and, oops, highlight it all and move it and it goes in there. All right. So we have that part done. And now what we're going to do is let's focus on what's in front of that. So this is the cross brace, the same one that we use down here. So I have another one at the top and this has a portal in the front 
and this goes in here. And once we put this in here, we can now bring this in. So this, what we have is basically uh, this kind of horizontal one by two hub where I attach this corner glass hub, I guess you're going to call it. So this is the aerospace large port for corner deck uh, that goes in there. So this corner deck, you're going to find it under hubs. So you're going to have it in here under hubs and you're going to have, you know, the different corners. So I am using this one, the, the four corner deck, and this just kind of attaches to it. So there are two entrances. On top here, I have an equipment plate and I am using this turret, the HZ30A4 howitzer. And keep in mind that when you see on the menu, uh, the turret is gonna be facing outside and I flip it so that it's facing forward, just, just for looks. And you're gonna grab this whole thing, it's going to link to this structure, this square right here. Oh, and by the way, two more portholes at the back. So all this thing goes in here and there you have it. So we do the same thing on the other side. It is exactly the same. We have the same hub, porho, porho, equipment plate, weapon, and we have the starboard, the other side. So when you go to the menu, you're gonna uh, choose the variant that turns into the other one. And this goes in here and there you have it. So all that is perfect aligned. Okay, so now that we have that, we are going to uh, put this one in here. So we have uh, two structures. These ones are the Matilija Aerospace Codelinks. So when we bring up the menu under Structures, here, this is the Codelinks. And I think I am using the third variant. There you go. Yeah, this is the third variant. So there's the middle there's the back so we're using two of the front and you can flip them until you know it, it goes to the other side so you can just flip them and i am taking two of those and they're gonna go in here so this goes at the top on top of the two, uh, one by two hub so two of those and in the middle a shell booster uh, that's smack right in the middle. Now, after that, we can now put these ones back. Uh, so here, what I have, what I have here is structures. So this is kind of like the same of these ones, but, but a different variant. So the same menu, this is uh, basically the first variant. And we're using the, the front and the back and we're just linking them and then flipping the other side. Then we also have a middle part. So this part here, is here. This is the Matilija long for top nose. So there's the front, there's the middle, and there's the back. So I am using the front and the back one. So linking those two together so you get this. Okay. So you have this and again a weapon mounting the same turret being mounted on top. And I also put a another violet spotlight here. So this how it's gonna go is this goes in here and this one goes in here at the back and then this one will go here on the side this one on the side and this basically aligns with the bottom because it's exactly the same parts but flipped and this goes in here and this one goes in here by the way, uh, I forgot to show you this. Let me remove this back. But on this side, I put two more spotlights just, just to get the violet color. So two equipment plates and two violet lights. So same thing I have on the other side. So that goes in there and we are almost done. So that is pretty much the majority of the uh, ship. So this space in here, what comes in here is the big dome, because as you can see, the dome has stairs below that lead to this mid part and then another stair that leads to the top of the dome. So this will go right smack in between here. So between the spine 
and these stairs here. So you can highlight them and put it until it locks. And that is it. Now we just need to finish the kind of the tails. And we have the structure here. These are the direct tech callings. So I have the same one, but flip. Although when you flip it, uh, this kind of little thing disappears. It's not showing. So I don't know what's up there. But anyway, it looks good actually with one thing. So when you go to your structures, go to direct tech. Uh, there's the big wing. And I think what it is there, the calling, the four ports. So those are the wings. So you have a couple of variants and you can also flip it. So we're going to grab that. And this one will link to here, to the hub, this corner. So you're going to grab it. We can highlight the whole thing. Oh, actually, you know, grab the bottom one first, because the bottom one is the one that's going to connect. And this one will connect to the one on the bottom. So you're leaving the space for this weapon and that goes in there. So the same on the other side. So we can click, double click, select them all and that goes in there. So the bottom will sit flash. And okay, so now we have this part. So this is this part is the same as this part. So we have this and then at the back we have the same part of this, but this is the middle variant. So when you go to the structures, look for the Matilija part there. So Matilija, the scaffoldings. So this is the third variant, the front and the middle. So you're going to have those. Then on top, we're adding another thing, right? The same thing as that, but going to add it here, the large one. Behind that, we're going to have one of the engines. This is the Tiger Warp 2 engine, two of those, another one that goes below. And then on top of the engine, we are going to have this uh, smaller thing. So the smaller thing is the variant of this big thing. And this will go, I'm going to do one part by part. So this will go here. This will go here. Then one engine will go here, another engine will go below it, so behind the cargo hull. And then the small thing goes on top of this engine, and the large thing goes on top of the two other structures. And there you have it, so all that just kind of covers that side. And on the other side is exactly the same. We can just highlight the whole thing and just move it here. Oops. Yeah, there is actually correct. Okay, so and there you have it. So the ship is now complete. 43 meters, just a little bit uh, longer than the 40 limit. Let me know what you guys think. This was the most expensive ship that I built to date. Oh, by the way, I think if you uh, if you don't like this thing, you could just basically replace it with more structures. Like for example, uh, we can, let me delete that. Let me get this part. Uh, let me get the middle one, put it in here. Let me put this one here. This one here. Right, you can do something similar to, to this. And let me see if I can get this one. Probably do something like this. If you do not like the, the front thing, I will do this. And then I could take this weapon, put it here, I'll probably flip this so it's facing forward and just put this here. So if you do not like having that dome at the top, you could totally uh, remove it and do something like that or maybe put a different weapon if you prefer. But you know, you can do something like this. 
which looks a little bit more aggressive uh, again yeah if the weapon is a little too much you can remove that as well let me just move this out of the way so you have the option for those who do not like the glass dome so you know this is optional i do like the glass dome i like it um so yeah and also i did not change any colors i think the colors are exactly the default colors i didn't change any shades other than the engines the engines are pretty white so i changed just the first color to a darker gray so that it kind of matches the rest of the build all right so that is it for the build let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed this build please help support the channel like or subscribe or leave a comment and other than that thank you all for watching enjoy the game have fun and i see you all in the next video